They can only do so many reveals at E3 every year, and they have to narrow down exactly what they show us. A lot of times we see the popular games that are set to do really well once they hit the market. There are, however, the few indie type games that are thrown in to add diversity. We don't always get to see up to date progress of the games, and some games revealed at prior E3s don't always show up again in the future. Check out this list we've compiled for you in the video below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below. If you want to stay up to date with other content, join our notification squad. While you're at it, check out our playlist as well. Shenmue 3 there was a trailer release at the E3 conference in 2015 of Shenmue 3, which many people are eagerly awaiting. We didn't get to see any new trailers for it this year, and we now know it will not be released until late next year. It was originally supposed to come out December of 2017. Yu Suzuki has delayed his project, looking for Kickstarter backers to help make his dream to be everything he imagined. So far, it has raised over $6.3 million. Suzuki said that using new technologies have led to the discovery of new possibilities and ways to express the game. The game the game has been in production for 16 years, so it makes sense that Suzuki wants everything to line up perfectly. Suzuki has also said that the game has become bigger and more beautiful than he originally expected. If you haven't played Shenmue yet, you play as Ryu Hazuko, who grows up encountering new friends and foes as he completes his kung fu training. It's a sandbox style game that includes mini games, which made it even more enjoyable. This game pioneered the genre that we all know today as open world. Dreams. If you enjoyed the Little Big Planet or Tearaway, then you could be in for a real treat with the release of Dreams made by the same company, Media Molecule. It was mentioned at E3 back in 2015, but we still haven't heard much more about it since then. Hopefully, it's just because the game is going to be spectacular and they're putting some finishing touches on the project. Dreams is as odd looking as it is surreal, giving the player the ability to explore the dreams of others and then you can create your own. The studio said you can get lost for hours, journeying through the dreams of thousands of PS4 users. You use Use the DualShock 4 controller as your tool to paint, sculpt, and build your own game world. Anything in that game world can be manipulated and animated in almost no time at all. The game has been described as a moving painting, and one major aspect of the game is collaborating with other users to alter or remix their dreams. Media Molecule has focused on making the gameplay quick, intuitive, and rewarding to create something that is completely your own. Have you seen any videos about this game, or are you excited about it? Ion Sometimes games get put into production, shown at E3, and then nothing comes of it. That is the story of Ion, the mysterious space exploration game by Dean Hall who also made DayZ. It is no longer in development and is dead. Like some other games we haven't heard much about, Ion was released at E3 2015. It was going to be a space exploration game and looked like it was pretty ambitious. Hall said back then that it would be developed by his own New Zealand-based studio Rocketworks in partnership with Improbable, creators of the Spatial OS game engine. Hall told the audience at E3 he wanted a game that wasn't a game. He wanted a game that was a universe. It was described as being heavily inspired Space Station 13, the 2003 multiplayer role-playing game, and had a massive interconnected universe. It would have real-time environments including air pressure, heat, and cold, power grids, and more. A lot has changed since 2015. Hall moved back to New Zealand from London, and Rocketworks has begun work on other games that have taken priority. The game seems like it had potential, and it is a shame that it never got through the production stage. Tacoma Tacoma is the upcoming game from Fulbright, set to release August 2, 2017. It was originally supposed to be released a year ago, but Fulbright explained in one of their blogs that the game needed some tweaking after playing an early version of it. Tacoma is the second game made by Fulbright after their successful game, Gone Home. Not a whole lot is known about this game, since the only trailer is about one minute long. It is a radio dialogue between a man and a woman set in the Lunar Transfer Station which is about 200,000 miles away from Earth. The game's environment looks like it could be similar to that of Rapture from Bioshock as far as the aesthetic appeal of it all. The game has been very low-key and hopefully that is due to the fact it has needed some tweaking and they really want all of the bugs out before they reveal too much more to us. If it is even more of a consolation, the game will be run by the Steam Engine which has powered other great games in the past. Is this a game that you are looking forward to coming out? We are indeed, only a couple months away from its release. Agent It has been almost nine years since we first saw the unveiling of Agent, a project Rockstar North had been working on but was never released. Sony only unveiled failed about one minute's worth of information at E3 back in 2009, only to leave us hanging. Agent would have taken place during the Cold War in the 1970s. Your character would have played a spy in the action-style game, which actually sounds pretty cool. The game would have taken you across the world in the shadowy realm of espionage and assassins. The last update to the game we received came in 2011. The CEO of Rockstar Parent Company
company Take-Two Interactive, Strauss Zelnick, said that the game was still in development. A few images have leaked over the years, but we still don't really know the inner workings of the game. Most likely, the game was killed long ago since it was supposed to be a PS3 exclusive. It would be cool if they did go ahead with making it and release it on new systems. It would also be really nice if we could hear it from their mouths. Have any of you guys heard about this game and wondered what exactly happened? Battle Cry. Bethesda opened a new game developer by the name of Battlecry Studios in Austin, Texas in 2012. The studio was supposed to produce their first game, believe it or not, named Battlecry. It was revealed at 2014 at E3 and a beta version would come out in 2015. The beta unfortunately never happened and probably left a lot of you in wonder of what happened. In October, they had said that it was thinking how to improve the game so it could meet the publisher's standards. Things probably didn't go according to plan, which is why we haven't heard anything about it since. Battlecry would have been a multiplayer melee-style game with class-based characters to play as. It's a shame that this game never came to be and probably won't. Obviously, there are always a ton of good games that come out every year, but if a company that was created by Bethesda is making games, then you'd think they would be good. We may never know officially what happened to the game or if the company will release any other games in the future. Were any of you signed up for the beta and bummed out it never came out? Red Dead Redemption 2 should we be concerned about Red Dead Redemption 2 or is Rockstar being their usual selves? It is the massively anticipated Western sandbox game and it's been over a year since we've heard or seen anything. A lot of people may be upset if this project never makes it out of the production stage, me included. Red Dead Redemption has become one of the most beloved games of all time and has taken seven years to create a sequel, that is, if everything goes to plan. Come on Rockstar, please don't let us down. We're expecting great things from you for this game. Rockstar has trademarked the online feature of the game much similar to GTA. 5, so you can expect to tag along with your friends and gallivant across the wild, wild west. If you've seen the release trailer, then you can tell the game is going to be visually astounding. Let's hope the gameplay lives up to or exceeds the first one. One would think that with seven years in production, this game could be one of the best new games. Rockstar has delayed the project until 2018, and we should see more footage this summer. The Last of Us Part 2 the Last of Us 2 is another highly anticipated game set to be an exclusive to the PS4. It's been over a year since we've seen anything new and many people are anxiously waiting. The original Last of Us was released in 2013 and gained tons of popularity and great reviews. The action-adventure survival game immersed you in the game and kept you entertained for hours. We only expect great things for this upcoming sequel. It's a shame we didn't see anything new at the E3 conference, but it's probably because Naughty Dog and Sony want to get everything right for this one. They have a lot to live up to after the first one's massive success. It is safe to say that The Last of Us 2 won't be one of those games swept under the rug. This year at E3, it was Uncharted The Lost Legacy that got a lot of attention. Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog went on Twitter right away to explain that we would see more from Ellie and Joel, but for right now, it's all about Uncharted. Try to be patient and hopefully we can get our hands on a copy of The Last of Us Part 2 by next year. Dead Island 2 have no fear, you should be able to satisfy your need of killing of the undead again shortly. However, this time it will be in California instead of an island. Dead Island 2 is still very alive despite the fact we haven't heard any news for over a year. The game went through kind of a rough patch during that time in that it was originally in production with Jaeger before Deep Silver parted ways in the summer of 2015. The game was supposed to be released in the spring of 2015. Jaeger had stated that its vision for the game had fallen out of alignment with Deep Silver. Dead Island 2 is in development at Sumo Digital but we still have yet to hear when it will be released. I'm sure there are some of you out there eagerly awaiting this game. Like the first game, Dead Island 2 will feature an open world, but this time will take place in Los Angeles, San Francisco, and an undisclosed third location in California. It's interesting the title will stay the same even though the game will not be on an island. Are any of you out there excited for this release? Fable Legends Unfortunately, the Fable series could not be continued and Fable Legends was cancelled in production. The free-to-play online game apparently was a controversial project that nobody wanted to work on. The company reportedly spent 75 million dollars on the project before giving it the axe. It sounds like we weren't missing much as the game was stated to not be very fun. It also lacked features a free-to-play game should have. The studio never really expected it to last a long time, but they also didn't expect it to be cancelled. The game was nearly finished and Microsoft killed it before the beta was released, which shocked the staff at Lionhead, the company developing the game. The production cost was too high and the constant delays with lack of players' interest were contributing factors in cancelling the game. Some employees
employees of the company really wanted to work on Fable 4, which Lionhead would have done after Legends came out. Instead, Microsoft stated that Lionhead was no more as well. There were some who tried to save Legends with the hope of developing it under a new name, but the Fable intellectual property wasn't for sale. Fable 4 still remains a possibility, but it will not be from the series' original studio. Well, that was the end of our list. Don't be sad, there's more stuff to see on The Gamer. But first, what do you think? Were you or are you excited for any of these new games? If so, which ones? Be sure to comment below and let us know. Before you go, don't forget to check out our playlist to watch other great videos. Have a good one.